hello welcome to my channel let's rejoice and today we're gonna to do the necklace that you see the picture that you see these are what we may need we need size 6 crystal round bead 11 or 10 o seed bead our chain and our hook and we're gonna use fish line today so I have my fish line to head on already putting on my stop bead pick one crystal to seed bead one crystal two seed bead one crystal two seed bead one crystal pick four seed bead We should have something like this. Go into your crystal and let your seed be drop. Pick four seed bead again and a crystal and two seed bead. Is what you should have going to your second crystal pick two seed bead again and a crystal and then two seed bead Going to the second crystal on the top, the last one. This is what you should have. Okay. Pick two seed bead and a crystal. In a two seed bead. Go into the next crystal. Two seed bead. And a crystal, then two seed bead. The next one. Pick four seed bead and a crystal and two seed bead. So continue doing this. This is how it's supposed to be.
you're still picking two in the crystal in the two. Pick two again and a crystal and two again. Go into the last crystal. Sorry about that. This is what we have here. And we're gonna continue doing this to the length that you want. Take four seed bead and a crystal, one seed bead. As you can see, our shape is popping up now. This is what we should have. and back this is what I have I'm done with it this is the length that I want so now we're gonna put in our hook then we'll go to our next step
I just made a little chuku in my chain over there. For that one, you can use any hook of your choice, any hook at all. So go into your bead a little, and then we're gonna start picking seed bead to fill in the gap. You can see there was a gap there. I did not want to put in the seed bead, but the way I see it, I think we have to put in the seed bead. You can see there's a little, little gap. So let's pick one seed bead. Then you go into the two. You see, uh -huh. to fill it. I didn't want to do it from the beginning, but I have to pick one again and go into the next two seed bead over there. Pick another one. Continue doing that till you come to the other side, the other end, then we put our hook on. Then we'll be done. Okay, we are done. Okay, you done. Just need all we need to do now is to put in our hook. This is what we have here. This is very nice. You can wear for any occasion. Can wear it with you know party church maybe wedding our store bead is still there I'm gonna make the note and take cut the tail then go ahead and put in my hook go into the bead Pick four CB four or three. Hmm. 
I'm thinking of changing the hook sidebar. Let's see. With this one, it is just easy to put in your jump ring, then add your hook on it. When you make your knot, work your way into some of the beads. Don't cut it right away. Make your thread in a little bit, you know, go into the some of the beads then before you cut it. Because when you cut it right away, at times it may come off. So just go into some beads. Then you cut your thread. Be done now. You see, I work my way all the way down there. Let's put our jump ring. Put in your hook and close your jump ring. Please, if you really enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for me. Like and share. Help build this channel. We are done now. This what we have. Isn't it lovely? I like it. Like I said, this is good for especially wedding. Weddings we do, yeah. Or party, you know, African party. <laughs> you have your white key, your white uh, white lace with this matching. Mm, you're gonna look good. And you have your how do they call it in Nigeria? Ogedi something, you know, the Nigerian scarf. You have it on, you're good to go. Nice. I'll be back with the earring that will match with this and a bracelet. And it's gonna be the same similar. It's gonna be the same, like the same thing. So please. Leave a comment and subscribe to this channel, Charlie. Abanabu. Stay blessed. Till next time, we meet Nemi in Shujigba. Abanabu. Bye. Bye.